Hey guys, this is Stormy Rabbits, and today I'm doing a video on what you need when you get a rabbit. So the first all important thing that you're going to need is a cage. I'll insert a picture right here on the screen of my cage. I do not recommend any cages that you can find in a pet store. Almost all of those are way too small, so I don't recommend those. I recommend building your own or you can use um, an X-Pen. And an X-Pen is a dog pen like this that I'm showing on the screen. And you can get a dog pen for around um, $50. Though my cage that I built, I built it for only like $60. And it's a nice size cage. I take them out still. But a cage, you really should look into it before you buy or make anything. So moving on to more supply like items, you will need a water bowl. Now a water bowl is basically a bowl like this. You can find these at pet stores made for small animals or you can just look for um, bowls at a thrift store. And this one is one that you can find in a pet store. For, you can find them for, for about like $4. $4. So the next thing you'll need is a hay rack. Um, it may take you a long time to find a hay rack. I'll insert a picture on the screen of my hay rack. Um, sorry I can't show it. It's in his cage and attached to the cage. So I can't take it out right now. But my hay rack is in under the shelf rack from the Dollar Tree. So it was a dollar and then I just zip tied um, cardboard to the back and then it's basically a hay rack. And also you can take like an NIC grid and you can actually bend it. I'm not going to do it. I don't want to bend this one. You can bend it like all the way around and then zip tie it and then shove hay in it. You can also use cardboard boxes and things like that. So just experiment with different things. So the next thing is bedding. When I mean bedding, I don't mean like hair fresh or stuff like that. I mean like what they're going to sleep on. This is just some fleeces. You can find these at Walmart for really cheap or online for about $6 each. And then also for like flooring, bedding, you can get like bathroom rugs, such like something like this, though you probably want to put a fleece on top of it. So the next thing you need when you get a rabbit is a litter box. A litter box is highly important, especially um, if you're litter training, which you should do if you aren't planning to because rabbits can pretty easily be litter trained and then they go to the bathroom just in one place and you can easily change it just like a cat. And you can find litter boxes. I like using like, the larger kind of ones of these. This is a large size. And you can find these from anywhere from 6 to $12, so depending on where you live and where you buy it. So the next thing that you need, and you actually do need one of these, it's a hidey house. You should definitely have somewhere for your rabbit to hide. This is the, just an example. You don't need to buy one. You can if you want. Um, you can buy something like the Cottontail Cottage, which is a hidey house. One important thing that you want to definitely have is a carrier. You'll want to have this when you go get your rabbit. It's very important that you just have a nice carrier plus this will last you um, forever so I recommend a cat type carrier this is probably one of the cheapest I don't really like it it's not because it works it's not worth me spending $30 and getting a new one so the next thing you need when you get a rabbit you should definitely have a brush to groom the rabbits shed four times a year two big sheds and two little sheds it's really important to have a brush and groom them on a regular basis. I recommend the Hair Buster. Um, you can buy this on Binky Bunny or straight from the people who get it manufactured, which is bunnygear.com. So far, I have tried six different brushes and this comes out on top. And you will also need nail clippers because rabbits do need their nails trimmed at once a month. And the ones meant for cats are work very well. And you can get these for around $6. And depending what style of cage or where you let your rabbit out to run around, you probably need some bunny proofing things. 
Um, one of the main things are these NIC grids. These grids are actually made for storage cubes. Um, you can find these at like Bed Bath & Beyond and Walmart. These are good for blocking off under beds or your closet or under the desk. Um, things like that if you're letting your rabbit run around. So you don't absolutely need these, but they are highly recommended. Next is hay, and hay is an absolute must. It is the main staple of a rabbit's diet. I get mine from a farm. Right here is just orchard grass from Oxbow. Um, the hay that I actually feed him is downstairs, so I can't really show that. Plus it's in the barn. I buy it in bales. And if you buy it in bales, it's like $3 for 40 pounds. But if you have to, you can buy Oxbow hay, which is very nice looking. And it will also come in bags like this if you buy the smaller ones. So those are some examples for hay. So next thing is pellets. Um, I use Oxbow Essentials Adult Rabbit Food for Storm. Now I highly recommend this brand if you're looking for a brand and a bag of these cost anywhere from seven to fifteen dollars. It all depends whether it's on sale or website or store that you buy it from but it's generally around ten dollars for a five pound bag so the next thing is litter and this is what goes in your litter box so i use horse stall bedding or wood stove pellets depending on what store i can go to these are wood stove pellets right here but horse stall bedding looks identical if you have the option i recommend pine horse stall bedding um, not the corn cob stuff, that's not what you want. Uh, you want the pine bedding, and it's $6 for a 40 pound bag. And if you want a brand, I recommend Tractor Supply. Um, you can find it right in their horse section. And this is the cheapest and probably the best litter you're gonna find, so. So next is toys, and you do really need toys for your rabbit. Here I have a wide um, selection. I have homemade toys, which could be a woven cardboard mat and something like this. You can find tutorials all over YouTube. I have some and a ton of other rabbit YouTubers have them. Another thing which you may not think of is baby toys, like these little stacky cups. A lot of rabbits actually do like playing with these and knocking over towers if you set them up and throwing them around. But it will vary on the rabbit that you have or are pl planning to get, whether they like it or not. And right here, these are toys that you can find in a pet store. We have some wooden toys, some sizzle toys, and some like other types of toys here. And if you're still looking for a toy, I recommend Willow toys as well. But toys are very important and prices will vary to free to like three dollars but mainly toys at pet stores are around three dollars a piece next is treats and your rabbit does not need treats it's not crucial but your rabbit will obviously enjoy treats if you want to get them and i recommend oxbow as a brand if you're looking for a good brand your rabbit will probably end up liking its pellets so much that you can feed a couple as a treat throughout the day also things like dried apple, dried papaya, dried pineapple. Those all make good treats. So the next thing is cleaning products. Um, here I have some paper towels. You can use rags, but paper towels just absorb liquids better and I think they just clean better than rags. And you don't need to go out and buy some expensive pet cleaner when you can just make your own 50-50 spray. And 50-50 spray is just one part water to one part white vinegar. So, you know, like two cups of water to two cups of white vinegar. And then it just makes this nice cleaner, which works very well, and plus it's really cheap. Then lastly, what I really highly recommend if you're gonna buy anything, whatever cleaning thing first, you should get a dustpan and brush. Um, you can find these for pretty cheap at like the Dollar Tree or Walmart, other home goods stores, but um, you will want one of these. And if you don't have one, you'll figure out pretty quick that you'll want one of these. So just look around and I've tried out a couple and I really like this one. So yeah guys, this has been what you need when you get a rabbit. If you have any questions, don't hesitate to ask. 
just leave a comment or send me a message. So anyway, I hope you have enjoyed this video. Thanks for watching and I'll be seeing you in my next one. Bye! Next, I got this medium size Critterware Twiggaloo and um, he can't fit in that opening obviously so it's just going to be something for him to chew on. And lastly, uh, lastly, I got the 40 ounce bag of orchard grass oxbow hay.